So today, Sean will tell us how he sold his own car. Welcome, Sean. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Today's topic is that I will tell you a story about how did I sell my car. It's also about online transactions, so very similar to a, a little bit similar to uh, Mike's topic as well. So I used to uh, have a pretty nice car. I love it very much. Six months ago, I um, moved up to San Francisco and decided to live there for a while. So I find that, uh, hey, I may not use my car so much, so I decided to sell it. So I post my car online on eBay, on Craigslist, then hope for the best luck. And one day, I remember it is one of the Thursday afternoon, I got a call from somebody saying that, hey, are you selling a car on Craigslist? I said, yeah. He said, yeah, I'm very interested in that. So I said, that's great. Do you want to take a look? He said, yes, definitely. But uh, I'm, in, uh, I'm in Vancouver. <laughs> so tomorrow, I will send my son down to uh, San Francisco and take, the, and take a look at your car. At that time, my fl uh, a flash of light coming to my mind saying that, well, that must be a play because on Craigslist list, there are so many fake people. So I, I, would, uh, I just told, her, I told him saying that, hey, when your son arrives, just let him give me a call and I can show my card to him. Then I hang up the phone and didn't really care about that. But next day, <laughs> if it was a Friday, I was having dinner with some of my friends down in South Bay in San Jose. It's about 9 p.m. already, and I got a phone call. Hey, are you Sean? I said, yes, I'm Sean. I'm James. James who? I'm James, uh, uh, Ryan's son. I'm, I just arrived at San Francisco airport. I want to take a look at your car. <laughs> I was so surprised. I didn't, I didn't imagine that uh, a real person really came. I, and I, I told him that, oh, it's 9 p.m. I'm, I'm, I'm in South Bay. So how about I show the car to you tomorrow morning? <coughs> because it's not so convenient for me to go up to the city and drive the car. He said, no, 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 tomorrow morning, 7 a.m., I need to leave the Bay Area. So I have to look at your car tonight. So I said, oh, kinda, it's, it's kind of weird, right? So I said, where are you at? He said, oh, I'm still at San, uh, San Francisco airport, but I will check in the motel in the Daily City. I was totally not familiar with Daily City. <laughs> and then the last question I asked him is that, oh, because it's on Cracker's list, so I don't have any eBay protection, so I really need to need you to pay me in cash because I don't trust all those cashier check, all those things. So do you have cash? Because my car is kind of new pricey. I, I said, do you have more than 20,000 cash with you? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I brought more than 20,000 <laughs> dollars across the board from Canada. <laughs> wow. I said, wow, that, that's really, really suspicious. But uh, what should I do? I decided to take a chance. So I took Caltrain back to my home in San Francisco and drove my car down to Daly City and managed to find a little motel. Parked my car, went into the lobby, and I called. I said, hey, James, I'm here. James said, oh, I, I come over. I come down. So I wait in the lobby. Two minutes later, imagine what showed up in, my, uh, in front of my eye. It's a huge guy, like uh, seven and a half feet tall. <laughs> he's like big and uh, he's like an elephant just like, walking in front of me, toward me. I was saying, oh my god, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> what should I do? Then at that time, what, what could I do? What could I do is just walk toward the guy and shake my hand, right? So I just went toward the guy, shake my hand, saying that, hey, nice to meet you, James. He said, no, 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 wait, wait, I'm not James. Then that moment, a little guy, like barely five feet tall, jumped <laughs> out from behind me. <laughs> he said, hey, hey, I'm James. So at that time, I was like kind of a little bit dizzy. You can imagine in front of me, six, six and a half feet tall guy, five feet tall guys from Canada, carrying 20K cash with them just to check out my car. I said, I must be a movie or something. <laughs> so afterwards, I showed the car to the little guy, and we did a test drive around 280, and everything works fine. The next day, we went to the bank. They actually managed to get out all the cash in, in like 100 bills. 
and deposit all the cash into my bank. And uh, I give them a car, they drive away, they said that they will drive all the way up to Vancouver. It's like 18 hours drive, they told me. So the transaction went fine, <laughs> surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> so the moral of this transaction, of this story is that, uh, hey, really, really be careful if you really want to do transaction over Craigslist list rather than eBay because we don't have protection. Really exercise your cautious. Except only cash, not cash check, because we heard so many story about fake cash checks. And the other, other aspect of the story is that hey, whatever is suspicious. So one of the eBay value is still right. People are basically good. So <laughs> take the chance if you really have the courage. <laughs> That's it. for a very interesting story. Now could you please spend 45 seconds rather than you coming in my head for sure?